Hey everyone, Lieutenant Cayman Row here from the Irish Air Corps as part of Science Week 2020. What allows an aircraft to fly? Some would say it's wings. Okay, so the wings are the part of the aircraft responsible for generating lift. That makes sense. But what's giving those wings the ability to do their job? Let's phrase this another way. An aircraft needs forward propulsion. It needs kinetic energy to draw airflow over the wings to allow them to do their job and keep the aircraft in the air, or in other words, provide lift. We have a word for this, and that is thrust. And how do we provide this thrust? You've probably already guessed it. Let's go find someone who knows about engines. I'm here outside of one of our AW139 aircraft and I'm joined here by 2nd Lieutenant David Sutton who joined as an apprentice in 2015 and is currently training as a student pilot in the flying training school. So David, we know that engines generate thrust. What kind of engines are we talking about here? So Cayman, there's four main types of gas turbine engines, three of which we operate here in the Air Corps. Behind me, you'll see the AW139, which has two turbo shaft engines. It's called the turbo shaft engine because the engine power gets fed through a shaft to the main gearbox of the helicopter and then turns the main rotor blades, which allows the helicopter to fly. Now over on our PC-9 aircraft in the flying training school and our PC-12 aircraft in number one operations wing, we have what's called a turbo prop engine. And it's actually the same engine, but instead of feeding a shaft, it feeds the propeller that's on the front of the aircraft. And hence the name turbo prop because it drives the propeller. So David, you've mentioned two types of engines. So what's the third type? Well, if you come with me, Cayman, we'll go across the ramp and we'll see. So our Learjet here behind me has two engines which are called turbo fan engines. This is what you might be used to seeing on the larger aircraft that might take you on your holidays. They're called turbo fan engines because the power from the engine is used to spin the fan blades that you can see behind me at the front of the engine. This accelerates air through and around the core of the engine to generate the thrust that we need to move the aircraft forwards. As you can tell, gas turbine engines generate quite a lot of noise, about 120 decibels. That's over 30 times louder than a vacuum cleaner. And that's because they have to move an aircraft like this which is 21 times heavier than a Formula One car at speeds of up to 450 kilometers an hour, which is 100 kilometers an hour faster than a Formula One car. So here in the technical training school, we have this cutaway view of the PT-6, which is the engine that powers over half of our fleet in the Irish Air Corps. So imagine this is the front of a PC-12 or a PC-9 aircraft, with the front of the aircraft up here. The air enters through the intake and comes back to the back of the engine here, where it goes into the compressor section. In the compressor section, it gets compressed and pushed forwards through the engine until it gets to the combustion chamber. In here it's mixed with Jet A1 fuel and set alight. Once it's set alight there's a huge expansion of hot gas and this gas is pushed forward through these two turbine blades. The first turbine blade here is what powers the compressor section at the back and the second turbine blade is connected through this shaft to the propeller at the front of the aircraft and it's the power from the propeller at the front of the aircraft which pulls the aircraft forward. Thanks for joining us on today's Science Week video. Ask us questions about what we've covered or what we do in the comments or as a DM and we'll answer them as part of a question and answer session this Friday. Further information on what we do and recruitment can be found on our various social media channels. Join us tomorrow for another science topic viewed from an aviation perspective.